have something planned. Actually, are we in it? Yeah, I believe we, we are. are. Indeed. So we can uh, we can take a look. So far, I mean, the first first thing is only going to be the fa the band. So we know that Phoenix is a smart band. Yeah. Most notable here is that it is first pick Dire. That's important to note. Oh. oh. And I was going to say I was still in the pool, but I was not in the pool. Means Beastmaster is yep. in the pool. Um, yep. Beastmaster is going to go That's one of the heroes that gets round out a lot. Oh. Earlier. Can't wait for oh, an exciting Beastmaster. Need to take this because General plays a really good Ooh, Beastmaster. He really does. So. It is something that uh, Moon is very good with. You could as argue well. though, that even uh, No Tail plays it very against, well too. Against yeah. Navi, like one of the best Oracle players in the world, Sunico, they could just like first or second pick the <gasps> the Oracle. While I do like the Oracle for a good disengage against something like the Lockdown of a Primal Roar, I, I feel like it's been a bit hit or miss outside of that. Uh, yeah. But we'll have to see. I mean, I I love seeing the hero nonetheless. But they play I, Shadow Demon as well, Navi. No, I love that. Yeah, hero. I know you do. Uh, so we'll have to see if that's going to be something they look for here. I really like the the Respect Band Enchantress against Art Style. He played that really well previous game. He was. Very aggressive on it, and uh, we have the Marana. We just heard General say that it is at the moment his favorite offlane hero. I mean, he looks like he loves it because yeah. he's yeah. playing it really good. We also know though that it's also Dendi and Digira that sometimes play it, so That's true. Um, that is kind of a curveball that Navi could throw. They both have those kind of curveball factors because I was saying before, yeah. I mean, Moon could play this Beastmaster, yeah, right. but No Tail also could play it. General could play them wrong. I mean, that's the thing. That's why I said that the mind games with this draft is yeah. that anyone could just suddenly be like, oh, it'd be best if we change it up this way. They have that flexibility. It sucks for us when we try to analyze the draft. <laughs> we really don't know what the hell's going to happen. But that's the strength of their draft. I mean, yeah. if we don't know, enemy team or other enemy team, other <laughs> the teams themselves. Enemy <laughs> team. <laughs> the <laughs> enemies <laughs> over there. <laughs> <laughs> they might not know either. Uh, Earth Spirit pickup. I mean, we saw Crit and Earth Spirit earlier today. His fourth straight game. Yeah. I'll play it. Yeah. And I, you uh, asked him why, why he did not, why you got my Blink Dagger. Yeah, you know, because uh, normally for a lot of Earth Spirit players, and we even saw it in the last series, it's typically go early for the urn and then mm -hmm. maybe go for a Veil follow up. But we noticed that Crit in all of his games likes to go straight for the Blink Dagger yeah. pretty much. And I asked him about it, I, and I thought that maybe the reason was, and, and it is, it's just because of the nerf of the boulder smash it just moves a bit too slow and if you want to be able to help secure that kind of stun lockdown you need to blink right on top of them and then just get the secured boulder smash from there plus it has fun other additional benefits when you get your magnetize you could rolling boulder in connect with the magnetize which we all know has a very small aoe and then double click blink blink hop yeah. right back out and now you have a safe magnetize and you could drop stones from far away if necessary it can work out as a really nice uh, high ground defensive tool Still haven't been able to see an alchemist yet. Still been on our every ban. Every time every in the game. second phase as well. If someone wants to pick it up, it has to be is, in is that it, first phase. Is alchemist the most exciting hero to watch? Though? No, no. But it's... the reason that that Jake wants to see it is because it's got it's get banned all the time. He wants to see variety. Yeah. 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 You want no. what you can't. No, I'm cool with alchemist not getting picked. Okay, never mind. I don't then. know why they waste bans on them though. You know, I, don't, I don't want to see alchemist pick. Yeah. Because then there's going to be an, an ancient apparition. They what? could counter in that sense. I think just a lot of teams, they don't like to play that kind of game. They don't want to have to play a game against an alchemist where you're going to have to, okay, now we have to watch the runes. We have to make sure he's not farming out of control. We have to mine the stacks. and Okay, you know, six minutes in, we can't gank him because he has an armor. Yeah. Yeah, you, so. you don't remember FNG's Ancient Apparition like a year back at, at, at a LAN? can't remember which one, but he kept sending ultimates. It wasn't FNG, I would think it was, but I'm not entirely sure. He kept sending ultimates and then everybody was like, oh. Oh, that was, that was actually solo at oh. ESL. Oh, New York. Damn it. Yeah, for for uh, <laughs> Vega. But he I was, remember that. That, yeah. was, that was hilarious. He was very, very good, but it was a different meta, though. I, Ancient True. Apparition has a super hard time staying alive in this meta. It's way too aggressive, and you'll see him rarely, but... Yeah, uh, very niche pick. Yeah, if they very have, like, niche mass pick heal, and it's like, you gotta get it here, then, then that absolutely. Was, that was some good times, though, Shiva. You're right. Yeah, I like to have rock, paper, scissors kind of stuff. You pick this guy, I pick this guy. Yeah. yeah it's fun times, but those are all gone. It's too equalized now. Ice Frog is too much of a genius. Wow. <laughs> Wow, really? Uh, if you talk to up there. I mean, By the way, if you guys are still hiring people for the majors over there, buddy, uh, I'm available. Uh, I love Valve and everything about uh, it. Valve especially is that amazing. Map, especially that map I reviewed. I love it all. No, uh, please hire me. <laughs> <laughs> and Volker okay. is banned out here. Which not what? Yeah. That's the first time we've seen him yet in the Ooh, final strong yeah. hero. Wondering what happened to that guy. Why specifically on this match, guys? I think against Beastmaster in the offline, you can stun the boar and the. It's like amazing against it. It's one of the best heroes dealing with the summons. Very um, good against the Earth Spirit as well. Having the Voodoo Restoration gets magnetized, yeah. almost negates it a bit. So it's been a go to for a lot of teams to kind of help with that magical it, AoE burst. It gives you the option of picking like a pushing hero, like a Dragonite or 
some other kind of thing that you can want to sustain yep. on the front lines. Or they want to keep things in the blue. Yeah. And That's people true. underestimate what an amazing right clicker he can be in the yeah. early game with the right kind mm, of like items. 65 damage and 70 damage. Yeah, he has one of the best right clicks for early game aggression, uh, so he makes anybody's lane. you're talking lane. about that. I mean, yeah, I, that's <laughs> I so much of a thinking. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they could be too all in at that point. A little too fragile of a lineup. We're talking about Navi, it's dude. Navi, you know. <laughs> if there's one team that goes all in for no reason, it's Navi. I love it. It works for them. It works. It's the entire playstyle. It all might right. be the thing they have prepared, you know. There we go. That could be the secret, Chiefs. The secret. This Rare Ranger, Ranger hero. No Drow one's Ranger. ever played it. Who is she? <laughs> <laughs> what right. a secret. Coming up next. You know what I miss from OG though? I miss Earthshaker. They used to run him all the yeah, time. Smart. Real big player. And now you know what my out. saddest thing is? I What's think that? I think it was at WePlay, and it was like I've been hyping up that Earthshaker Agonims for ages, and I think it was at WePlay. We saw an Earthshaker <laughs> off lane picked, and the game went on for like 50 minutes or so. Never did a guy build that. I was so frustrated. Why not? Okay, okay well, well we got something to talk about here. Yeah, yeah. Shen has made it this far, which is incredible, and then he's picked up as Navi. Navi loves running the Chen. Yeah, this uh, is where they make that kind of a flip, and it's like, oh, now look at this Night Stalker. He's suddenly it's a, a core. core. Yeah. yeah. This Mirana's a core. This Night Stalker's a core. And now OG's like, whoa, okay. Now, now they like go back and review like how the lanes are going to be, and they have to see what they're working with already with their commitment to the the Beastmaster or Spirit and Disruptor, and be like, now do we try to change things up a bit to address this? Because now we have to worry about the pressure coming to the mid lane on Miracle. So I guess there's two ways they can go about this. Okay, they, they go late game first of all with the response inspector. Uh. Beastmaster can roar, catch someone out, then Spectre uh, haunts, and they get a nice pick off, and it kind of slows down the push. It's also kind of weak, though, early game. Yeah, I wonder if they could still, like, give No Tail this Beastmaster and grab Moon that Nature's Prophet at the end or something, okay. just to add more to the global mm -hmm. capability. More vision. I think if you're, uh, if you're OG here, you want to watch out for Dragon Knight. Or they could even rotate the Murana to the mid lane and pick up a Sven, like some sort of mm -hmm. armor based hero that can be a frontline tank for them. Because if they pick Dragonite and group up and push, your Spectre will have maybe drums by the time they're, take, they're at your racks. No. This is a very difficult situation for OG to be in as well. If you know that the lanes got swapped, what kind of curveball can Navi still throw with their last pick? Right? They ban out Juggernaut. It is one of those heroes that, it, that they want to, you know, use a sustainable siege that you, you can sustainable siege with. Darkseer. Yeah, and they pick Darkseer. We'll have to see. I mean, Navi obviously need some more late game to yes. on top of it. Occasion we'll see Miracle Unless plus something they like an cheese. AM. But, well, they're uh, convinced that the Mirana is mid, so they ban out the Juggernaut. Yeah, or... Or convinced that this is the best option. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Mm. No last pick coming out from Navi. I still this should... think Dragonite is extremely strong. Yeah? You yeah. calling it? Yeah. Any call last minute calls? You run out of time, Connor. Maybe is Digi a raw Night Stalker player? Did you, uh, the, would a Night Stalker core still have General on the Mirana? Get something too. else for Dandy still? I. It's, it's I mean, you want, to, you want a tanky core. You want or rather. Or Night Stalker could be your tanky core. If you could choose. If you're going to pick. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 Jeez. Can't please continue. Uh, <laughs> soccer core. Hey, yeah, I mean, uh, Dragonite can also build Silver Edge as well, which is really good against Spectre. Hmm. They could also go the other way. It's either like they just Smart. go all in so that the Spectre can't reach her critical mass mm -hmm. timing, or they get something to match up against her potentially. And both teams run with like a four man movement and have their plus one kind of do work. But the yeah. benefit of the Spectre is that she could still get participate in those fights. Also, Dark Seer Spectre, you can just iron shell the Spectre. And all of a sudden, like the, a weaker hero early game is yeah. very strong because she has that gap closing ability. So. Oh, okay. so they're going to go. Sell in, boys. Game. Damn, here we go, everybody. Hope you go, go and grab yourself a beer because it's gonna be a long one, I think. Right? Yeah. Will it oh, be? Yeah. I hope so. Don't of these days, it's what I call the sandwich. All right. You okay. got the top bun. That's 15 to 20 minutes. Could be the end. The middle doesn't really matter anymore. Or the end game. 50 plus. That's Isn't not that the way so your sandwich. That's the only time. good part. That's not, the, that's not the way your sandwich works, by the way, because you take a bite of all three things at the same time. It doesn't work. So, who do you think is going to win? We've got two boxes here. <laughs> and this guy can't even have the bread, so. Yeah, just, just eat the mid game. So, <laughs> OG or Navi? Uh, I am going to side with 
OG on this one. I think they have a, a good formula. They have great control with the Beastmaster, good lockdown, great vision for the mm -hmm. map on Dire's side, and then the global presence of the Spectre is is it's just going to be good. Yeah, I agree. I think the, the Iron Shell with the Spectre allows them to kind of get through that mid-game without any hiccups, and then they're going to they're gonna finish the game out in like 30 to 40 minutes. That's going to be a spicy sandwich, but I'm thinking it's going to be a long one. It's going to be a foot long. I'm going to have to go with the Medusa <laughs> on Team Navi. Okay, well, it, I will go with OG, but it is time to hear what I'm talking about. Whatever, Steve. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the winner's bracket final now. We have Na'Vi versus OG. I'm OD Pixel. I'm going to be joined by a wagger for this game, and let's get ourselves in. Ow. I'm looking forward to this one. We've got the Deucer coming out for Na'Vi and the Miracle Spectre for OG. Yeah, there are some weird stuff being picked here already in the first game between Na'Vi and OG. I mean, Miracle Spectre, he's got a safe lane. He's definitely played Spectre quite a bit in yes. his pub games and his accounts, so I've seen that. His but Smurf that means... account is actually Badman's. <laughs> That's him. That's him. He was almost up at 9k on that account, then he was like, let's, like yeah, it. let's go back to my main. Let's do it on my main account. <laughs> um, and they're going to send No Tail mid on the Beastmaster. So this is very interesting. I haven't seen a mid Beastmaster for a while, as he jungles so well, offlane so well, but they just they want to have Beast and Arcs here. Right, this is going to be interesting. Then. This, is, this is certainly going to be interesting. As we see at the moment, around the rune. Oh, General fighting for it. Here we go. Well, oh, sorry, General. Get it. You're not 9k, so Miracle. <laughs> oh, he did. did yeah, he... he got it. He got it. Look no, Miracle that. got it, but I mean, this is it... it just hurts so Can much. They... Nice. I was going to say, is there no chance of killing him? <laughs> but, wow, there we have it. Way to start. And so the laning. So, top lane, Miracle is going to be supported by Fly on the Disruptor. You also got Crit roaming around. Uh, the map on on the uh, spirit, uh, the hero that they they pretty much get him every game it seems today. Um, and Crit has had quite quite, quite a few good performances on it. Do you see that double sentry by the way on the off lane uh, camp? So he deworded one sentry okay. and thought that he cleared a camp, but there's actually one more. Ah. Just sneaky, sneaky bastard. Absolutely, it got done there. That's uh, bottom lane as well. Let's talk about this Medusa. So Ditcher are picking up the Deucer. It is something that uh, it feels like uh, some of the CIS teams are doing. I remember in uh, the EU qualifiers, we were seeing a few teams pick it up. Yeah. Uh, are you liking the Deucer at the moment? Well, why is it being picked as it is in this meta by, by some of these kind of aggressive teams? Well, I feel it's just, you know, an option against so many melee heroes being picked right now. Like, look over to OG. They have four melee heroes. And they struggle a little bit more coming close and really damaging her down. Also, because of her ulti, just slowing them down so easily. But I don't feel confident looking at Navi's draft and going like, Oh yeah, Medusa, let's go! Uh, I feel it has some weaknesses. Necrobook is going to be super strong against her. The Diffusal is really good for Spectre to pick up. There's some high value here. So, we'll yeah. see. I mean, that certainly is the case. They, they are going to have the mana burn online for the side of OG. Eventually, in mid lane again, Crypt. Rolling in onto Dandy. You see, you have the control. He doesn't. In fact, he could be in trouble. Art style with a rotation has the troll trap. A force crit back. Uh, tons of damage being dealt, but not going to be able to kill him though. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be uh, obviously a little bit frustrating for Crit because as an Earthspit, you really are relying on these ganks to work out in the early game. And, and if you're unable to catch out Dendi, uh, I mean, w once he hits kind of the level two, then it, I mean, you know he's getting that kill. But at the moment, he's tried twice and it's failed. It's just hard though. Like. If you're Earth Spirit and the enemy has a Queen or Puck or Mirana mid, yeah. it's just always going to be difficult getting that kill for sure. And still, you should probably try for it, <laughs> even if it's hard, because you just help out your mid laner. Yeah, I was guess looking out the map, the question is where else can he make action happen? Top flight, general trading the hits, forcing back, art style, looking for no tail. Oh, they'll get the arrow follow up from the troll oh, trap, but no tail. Uh, he's going to give away first blood, art style, and, and the superior the rotation. The boar dying, that's 70 experience, it gives so much. Uh, this is uh, good news here for Na'Vi at the start of this game. And CS-wise, well, 11 for Empty Chirar, 14 for 6 on Miracle. And uh, in the mid lane, the matchup that we've got, it's, it's still very, very close. But that extra kill for Na'Vi, putting them at the edge and crit. Oh, oh not like this, with the Invis Iron Shell moving in. Oh, Snake rolls in, oh! And then he manages to hold them back with a cast, but that isn't going to be the case. And OG yeah. getting themselves a kill and return down there. So Crit managing to make the war rotation work this time. One for one in the kills right now. But this Medusa lane, I mean, she is pretty good against Darkseer on the yeah. laning phase. Just burning his mana with the Mystic Snake. But I just wonder how it's going to work out later in the game. As they don't have any positioning hero, sometimes we see a Venge alongside the Medusa and just, you know, be able to swap her. Because she is very much a 
kind of kind of stationary force. I mean that is true, isn't it? Oh. Oh, look at top lane, trying to make a go in general. Do they actually have the damage to do so? Uh, they might bring him yeah, down, yeah. They yeah, got to dive, but they will get it. Yeah, he yeah. gets brought down as he... He doesn't really want to die as well during daytime here. He's so close oh. to nighttime, and he could play very differently. He could, like, try and go jungle more, but, of course, there is that. Yeah, and and it is a scary lane, because uh, you have got that Spectre level 4, 2 points in the Dagger, 2 points in, mm -hmm. in the, the, the extra damage there from the Desolate. So you've got to be very, very careful with your positioning. And I think it's interesting what you said as well, the fact that with the Deuce you don't have Avenge. I mean, if you look at the save potential, what you've kind of got Hand of God, Moonlight, Shadow, but nothing in terms of repositioning and nothing in terms well, of getting the Spectre out of there. Apart from the big, uh, the big repositioning, you know, ah, using exactly. the Send yeah. Home. Yes, yeah. But then you Send Home, you carry as well. Oh, Miracle! Else. Yeah, he's gonna die here for sure. Definitely nice. dead. And so might go for more. No. Okay. He pulls back the creeps. I think he can go. Yeah. They're gonna turn around, drop the void onto Flying Art Style. Well, we saw him make the action happen mid with the first burn. He's he's gonna be able to secure two here for for General on the Night Stalker. Yeah. This is some really really nice rotations here from Art Style on the chain. The question Brit is, is can General get out? Solo. Oh get him. yeah, he's on point. Does he get the kick? Does he? Oh, does he get another? Does he try for it? Oh, he nah. doesn't even try. <laughs> Just assuming maybe the general already got himself out, but nonetheless, he's finding something back in return. But uh, still, it feels at the moment that this uh, early game is is going better for Navi. Yeah, this is this is working out quite well. The rotations are really good. If they get a nice early game here for Night Stalker, I mean, he has face boots and yeah. it's minute four plus, so he could maybe throw a gank towards mid again, shut down this Beastmaster even more. He is still far away from level six, and Mirana actually out leveling him quite a bit. Yeah, Dundee's having a good time there now. 28 for 7 against the 19 for 1. He's starting to get the edge. It will be hard to catch no tail out if they send anyone around at the moment because he does have that haste rune bottled. Bottom lane, Moon still being forced back, but at the same time, a plus side for Darks here. It's not felt that he's had to back off into the jungle and all. Crit. Oh, he has to kick and roll. Oh, wow. That's a nice kick. kick. <laughs> they, Strong they do kick. have more heroes coming around for this one, Crit. Uh, he hasn't got a TP either here. Enter a space creation mode. Yeah. He's going to be fine, though, walking away. But now he can't help top. Exactly. This is the big thing. They've got the follow-up stun. And again, Art Style, he is having an absolutely outstanding opening to this game. I mean, he really has. He played Chen and Enchantress the entire series against BP. And they're going to kill Crit as well. They're yep. going to catch him out. The Maledict's on him. He does yeah. have to stick charges. But with that last right click, that's going to oh, be enough for him to pop. Oh, oh so Sineko. The big creep was a swinging his that attack animation. That was so close. Yeah. Nice try, though. He did run for it as soon as he could. But I, I mean, Art Style Chen at the moment. Yeah, look at him. This is winning the game for Na'Vi. Yeah, there's no stopping him. Yeah. He has but perfect creeps to keep ganking. He's 3-1-2 at six minutes in, Wagger. Yeah. And this is just creating space for a Medusa as well, because yeah. he's doing so much up here, killing off people. It really delays the Spectre's level in farm as well. Yeah, this is this is a really really strong start here for Navi. Yeah, as you said, you know, just look at the Deuce's numbers. You said he's getting space, but did your eye? Yeah, 40 for 17. Yeah, and I mean they TP down the Spectre to bottom lane, but she immediately has to run all the way back, pick up Iron Shell from the Darkseer, and now come back to the lane maybe. But he still can't lane against Dusa. I mean I do like this. Look, they've sent the two supports down on the bottom. Mm -hmm. They need to yeah, they need to catch out Digira, and maybe they can have a oh, good nice attempt at it here. Yeah, beautiful rolling from Crit. But the Moonlight Shadow, do they have detection? Oh, he's gonna go for the TP out. He's not gonna make it. Yeah, he lost too much mana to use his use his ulti. If he got the ulti off, maybe he could have gone away, but. So much damage in a burst. Yeah, I mean, that, that was the ideal play for OG. That's exactly what they needed, but no Jeez tell. Master. Oh, he didn't get the uh, memo that Moonlight Shadow was out. Yeah, no and one told him. He is popping. They're uh, going to haunt in. Oh, maybe they can try to turn it around. Can they keep No Tail alive? Dendy's falling low. No Tail, he will fall. Miracle. Dendy stays alive. Now, Miracle, he's haunted into this one, and he's in a lot of trouble. The arrow, it'll take down oh, the boar. Is he's, he dead? General he's, dead? he's got another void. Oh, it's one so more close. touch. Hey, the Mayo. Killing spree for General. It's eight for four. Crit. Being forced back as well. Look at Navi just coming they, and swinging into the right, series. All right, boys. I mean, they thought this land would be a walk away for OG, but they are they are certainly getting hit hard in these first seven and a half minutes of the game. Look at the net worth. Four heroes and Navi right on the top. Yeah, they're really looking farmed. And it's just the uh, Night Stalker having so much farm as well is a massive thing because he just dictates the tempo of the game now. Along with it, Chen, of course. Chen has done, he's done his part this game already. Hey, yeah, I'll start smiling. 800 more gold and he's going to have mech as well. Uh, this is a, this is an outstanding start, but at the same time, I can't help but feel, you know, Miracle on the Spectre. 
Miracle is a great comeback player. You know, I mean, we've seen games where he goes mid, he gets ganked by six people, and you know, once, yes. twice, three times, and he still manages but, to bring the game around. But then he plays mid heroes. That's you know, true. I, I haven't seen him fall yeah. behind on carry position very often, and I'm not convinced. You know that it's the same deal. It's very different not being the mid player. Yeah, and he's, he's got to be careful as well. I mean, we saw him try for it with that horn onto the mid, but it was just a little bit too greedy because Na'Vi, they're always going to react to a, a Spectre turning up in the mid lane, hanging around the tier one at this point in the game, especially with the, the power there, the yeah. kind of rotations for the Night Stalker. I, know, I, know I like how our style has just made this his permanent <laughs> home, by the way. He's he pretty much stuck up there since he yeah. killed Fly and the Disruptor. He's been there forever. He's been farming up here for the last five minutes. Yeah, this is great stuff at the moment for Na'Vi. OG, they need to compose themselves, need to find a way of bringing themselves back in. Yeah, so, they're trying to tighten up now. They're going yeah. together a lot. I think they need to make a move with the Beastmaster War and follow up with him. But he doesn't have any mana right now, and he doesn't actually... Okay, he has the bottle coming out. He's bottle crowing. So, well, once he gets he... that, they can go for a gank, maybe. Flying crit are heading up. down bottom, but the question is, is a Darkseer and an Earth Spirit enough to kill a Juicer, especially when you don't have magnetism? Not to do so. Oh. No. But maybe you can They're gonna go for some wards, I think. Deep wards in the enemy territory. They have one ward on them, so that's, that has to be the objective here. And of course, Spectre can reinforce now, as there will be this good sentry. This is the Moonlight comes in. Yeah. Oh, mid. Oh. They're gonna They're try and go in general with the Horn as well. Maybe they're gonna have a chance. They've got the rotation coming through from the crit. The silence onto Denny gets brought back. Jumps out to the sidelines, but the glimpse is there. Denny in the middle of them all. He'll go down. The question is can they get anything more? Dijara with the rotation. The snake destroying OG. The Maledict's on Miracle. Is it gonna be enough to pop him? That's the question. Oh, One more pop and he's, he's gone. Dead. And they'll find it. And again, this is OG pretty much putting everything into the gang. Oh, he style, he's going to find Art more. Style. Comes in with the cutoff. Catches out Fly. He has the new. Could bust another kill for the man. Crit comes in with a boulder smash, but he's got to be careful himself. Moon is there. Off the soaring. Yeah. But a, a two for one trade after OG go for a full five man mid and losing your Spectre again. That's not great for the Dire. Yeah, I'm also not sure they can hold the tower at all now because they use their ultis. That's a big thing. When you don't have Spectre ulti, how are you going to fight here? The Medusa still has her ulti if she wants it. And. She could just pressure this mid lane until the tower falls. Dendi, of course, gonna tip down bottom, farm up a little bit on Mirana. Arstar's got the mech done as well for the next fight. Still living in the enemy jungle, has not backed this game. It's taking it easy. Oh, if they catch out, I mean, he, he doesn't have horn, of course. If General gets the start, he's got a double mm. damage, Waga. This is looking very They're scary. They're trying to wait for a nice talk ulti. So, he has it in five seconds. Okay. They need this. I mean, Miracle, he should react straight away as soon as he sees it pop. We'll see yeah. how he plays this one. He's got to run. He's got to throw out the dagger before the silence comes in, and he will. And it might just save him this time. Yeah. yeah. But that's, again, him just having to leave farm and run into a jungle and spend so much time not farming. I mean, yes, he's the most farmed in his team, but also behind four in the enemy team. Yeah, he's behind the Night Stalker. Only just as close, but still, that's He's not the position the chin, to be. You know, like... I, yeah, Art Style's rocking it. Okay, some mid pressure being applied here. Just right clicking with the disruptor and yes. All right, off you go. <laughs> you go back to top lane. We don't want G you. General here. probably says, "All right, I'll farm this wave instead." No, nah, yeah, okay. sure. He's backing away. Hey, Maybe we'll try and see if Miracle comes back out. You can see, Art, look at Art Style's position. He is ready on that high ground to try and cut off. Oh, Gia's so locked in. Yeah, he has yeah. the entire Centaur posse right here. <laughs> just triple centaur creeps. Chain stun is there. You don't want to walk up here if you don't walk up that ramp. OG. It's the ramp of death. Anyone gonna volunteer? Let's see what the play is. Hmm. If you can't get behind them here, it's but... nearly night time. Yeah. Ten seconds. They're gonna go with night time immediately. Do they have TP on Dendi? I don't think they do. Oh, he has TP already. And he's actually moving in as well. Yeah, here we go. And this. A moonlight as well. They're just leading straight in. Moon trying to react immediately with the surge away. They can't catch him out with the maledict. The death ward. Lay down not to create or roll aside. Dendi jumps in with the arrow. Gets the burst onto fly. They'll remove the disruptor. Can they try and get themselves anything more? Oh, well, nice talk is going in. He's yeah, chasing. Yeah, if he catches out Chris, should be a good one. And he get it out there. If he can get that slow, That's yes, he can. With the urn, it's another art star now dominating on the gen. Yeah. Give that gold to the carrier. Absolutely. The carry. And with that, they'll take a tower here as well by Lux and Na'Vi. 12 for 5, OG getting beat down hard in the early game. I mean, what, what, what is the answer here for OG? Do they just try 
They need to try and keep creating they space. They need to the slow down the game somehow. Rely on the Hawk for vision and just, you know, start split pushing more. Oh, look at General. He's, he might even be able to set up for more. They'll get the car skin. TPs are coming through. Could this be Na'Vi diving too deep? General in the trouble. The Roar is there. In the cup with the Horn. Hand of God coming out, but it's not enough to save them one. Now with Denzi caught in the midst of it all. He's going for a TP out. Oh, oh no. can't quite make it. The glimpse is there. OG. Can they even kill him, though? The magnetizer's on him. This man is a dead man, and this is going to be a bit of a cleanup here. Miracle gets himself a double crit. Falling low, but Art style, he tried to go greedy on that one. It's not going to pay off. Oh, no. So much money to expect. That is not what you want to be seeing if you're Na'Vi. Triple kill for Miracle. I He's going to be very been, happy with that. They should just have been happy taking the tier 2 tower. Now they're chasing as well. If uh, they can get to Oh. Oh, they might just do it as well. They get dragging him back. He's been silenced up. Miracle with the dagger. Could this be another for the man? It's going to go the way of crit. He will take it. But nonetheless, four kills for OG. A triple kill for Spectre. I think we're back in the game. And looking at the net, well, certainly Spectre, behind four of the members of Na'Vi, is now 500 ahead of the top. Yeah. No, she's she's doing great now. And that was just, you know, her getting so much yeah. from that one dive. It was it all intentional. Miracle was like, right, guys, I want you to feed a little bit in the early game. Then I'll come in, I'll clean up, and we'll get back on top. <laughs> That 9k strat, no. yeah. I, I don't know, Navi, it's a matter of being very controlled with your aggression when you play a Chen Nice Talker lineup because you kill some enemies, you take a tower, and then you want to maybe dive and kill more enemies, but you could just have taken that tower safely. Yeah, yeah. and you sure. can't afford to do that against Hero like a Spectre, especially yeah. when the Haunt's there because it's always going to get punished. They did underestimate it. Now he has the Vanguard as well on Spectre. He's just going to be really hard to bring down. He can play much more aggressive. Uh, we'll see. Navi, they need to be careful. Don't drop the baby. I mean, the question is as well, so what, what kind of build do you expect the Earth to go for with this this Vanguard? Are we going to see a, a Radiance Rush, or is it going to uh, become the Manta I Diffusal? I think Manta Diffusal it's makes so the most strong. sense here. Yeah, yeah I guess the... Against the Medusa, it's yeah. just so high value. So going Diffusal as next item, or Yasha as next item, would be the most expected. But Radiance is fine too. Yeah. Like, it yeah. wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I guess the great thing about Radiance is, um, you know, obviously as a Deuce, you're not going to necessarily get the MKB anywhere towards the beginning of your lineup, so, uh, kind of the beginning of your item build-up, so... I mean, it's, it's, it's sort of nice against Chen and the entire yeah. army as well, and that missed chance for the enemy team is just annoying, but... Yeah, as you said, probably Diffusal safer. Necrobook is uh, completed, level 1 Necrobook on No-Tail. That's a pretty late Necrobook for a solo mid Beastmaster, though. And what do you think about this as well? This feels like a, a build that we don't really see every Night Stalker go for. He's going to be going for the arm at this game. I mean, normally it's kind of like your Midas, your Axe, but this is a proper in-your-face wanting to fight build from General. Hmm, it is. I I actually love it, yeah. but it's just it's just very different from what we usually see. But the DPS is there, so he can just go in and kill the Disruptor solo extremely fast. Like, one Void slow should be enough. Well, the smoke is missing out. No, it's a little bit off the mark. They're looking behind the tier Trying one. to scan. They drop some aggressive words though, so even if they don't find a kill, they get something out of it. But they realize they're bottom. Um, well, with the space, Na'Vi, we'll be able to do a significant amount to this tier 1 bottom, but OG. That's how they might position themselves for a bit of a trade-off. They have the Beastmaster RR, so they could definitely just push down mid lane as well. I mean, that's a lot of DPS. Book is available. Oh, Na'Vi might be able to come in from the high ground here. And he's only going to be Denny Snake, yeah, but that is a though. lovely static storm to set it up here. Jumping in with a haunt. I'll take oh, out Snake glimpse. glimpse, bringing Denzi back. They're trying to haunt around us. Miracle. Is he actually going to be able to get a latch on anyone? It's Denny that's being chased. He's got the Moonlight Shadow, the stun off point, but there's your raw. Onto the Mirana. They'll take down a second dominating streak now for Miracle. That was great reaction by OG. They didn't actually have any word there, but they... Yeah, okay, there they actually walked past the river ward. Uh, straight up. The reaction was quick and... And Beastmaster is pretty much on point with the micro as well. And at this point, it kind of feels that... It's the early game's been all, all but forgotten. Yeah, OG have brought it back, and especially with this Roshan, they're going to be on an equal level, if yeah. not higher. Can they try and contest it, though, Na'Vi? Yeah, they're coming in, fly, caught out on the sidelines, but he's dropped the kinetic filter, buy space for his team, and it's enough. They'll get Roshan, they'll get the Aegis, and now moving in for more. The Death Force drop, Na'Vi, they're going to move into the pit. Can they clean up more here? They'll find Moon with the Void. Darkseer, he's going to fall as well. Double kill for General. Yeah, and ETP's away safely here with the Spectre. He has to kind of show his cards. I think he's just going to go for a full Radiance. Because he hasn't picked any item up now. Okay. Yeah. I Else mean, he would have bought the Yasha already. And it makes sense. I mean, there's a lot of five-man Dola coming out from Navi. When they go together like this, the Radiance is going to be very effective against them in team fights. Yeah, this is 
it's still going to be very, very good timing. I mean, looking towards Brian, this feels like something that kind of fell off during uh, the last land, during Epicenter. Uh, we've obviously seen it already today, but still Marana fans going for that Ags rush. Are it, you a fan of this build? Well, if you are going to play a mid Marana, I'm actually a fan of it. But it does have the obvious weakness that it takes a long time to finish up the entire Ags. And right now, he's just a mid with a lot of useless items. Like, these stat items don't really do much. The Staff of Aristotle, the Point Booster, the Ogre Club, it's not really having impact. So, I mean, the but the Beastmaster is doing so much more and he was getting destroyed in laning phase. But once once you have it, then it's actually good. And they did make great use of it earlier in the series against the VP. See that bottom Crit and Moon time with Artstyle. Artstyle does have a Night Stalker around as well. General is behind him. But I'm not going to go in. But at, at this point of the game, it's... It's basically what both Ditcher are and Miracle getting space, but the fact that this this Spectre is closing in on that relic, that's that's got to kind of be flashing warning well, signs for now. They have a they have a peak right now. Yeah. Was when they finish this Aghanims on Mirana, which she does have the Courier's flying it out. They can take team fights, and Radiance oh. is not there. This and is a great time. This Invis room might just set up another kill from. Oh no. Yeah, the yeah, found general dead. in comes the bye backup. Bye. Grits gets the stuff through. They'll put the Moonlight Shadows. Do they have detection? They've got the double dust. They've been double dust. Oh! oh the the send -off. back from Artstyle. He'll pay with his life. Oh, what a play there from the man. Mm. Getting General back to base. That's worth saving that Night Stalker. Yeah, he's pretty far. It cost him a double dust, that. Yeah, really good. And they were farming in the meantime. I don't know, though. That, that type of death slows down the moment when Navi want to go for the next fight. Because now they have cooldown on... Night Stalker ulti, they have cooldown on Chen ulti, or not Chen ulti, the Miran ulti. It's just, I want to see them go right now, when yep. they're stronger, if they're going to win the next fight. And what's Ditchera got done now in the career? What's that coming out? That is the the full old yeah. Lincolns. It's done. Okay. Yeah, Lincolns is complete. It's a very good item here, actually. They don't have too many target spells. In fact, only a Spectral Dagger, the Glimpse, and the Roar. They do have the you know, Necrobook as well to proc it, but that's really it. And so that, pretty that, great that, game that Necro to Necrobook is now level 3 as well, so we're really going to see that mana burn come into play if they can get the lockdown on Medusa. Yeah, it's terrible for Medusa to yeah. play against. It hurts so much. And you rely on that mana pool. We've even seen him get bursted and not have time to cast ulti because he lo lost all his mana so yeah. quickly. Yeah, uh, you know, there's uh, every opportunity for that to happen, and especially I don't when like... you're against an Earth Spirit Silence. I don't like the build he goes, by the way. You don't did, like the raw? Like, no, I mean skill builds. Oh, okay. He has two points in his mana shield and maxed out split shot. Yes, he's it's farming ancients farming. now. Well, I, I don't think it's good for farming because okay. he has died twice. Okay. And yeah. this skill scales extremely well. It goes from 1.6 to 2.5 per mana. That's a massive change. And some of these fights, I honestly think it could have made a difference. I mean, this is scary. They've got the Relic now for Miracle. He's halfway through the recipe. Yes. <laughs> I mean, this next fight, it's going to hurt Na'Vi pretty hard. Yeah, and they have a lot of heroes that are really susceptible to a Farm Spectre, like Witch Doctor, Chen. Yes, you have heals, but you don't really deal with the Spectre. I like this. You know, this Very is what well. you're talking about, Wagner. Yep. They need to look for these fights, and they're going for it. But the hawk but and the sentry, out. the hawk and they the sentry. The, oh, sorry, not the sentry. What am I about? They see this the is wolf running in. Seven, seven. They see a damage wolf. It wasn't smoked. Oh, and this now with this one wrap around with the hawk coming through. I know where they all are. They'll be the raw onto channel. This is the miracle jumping around this fight. Hanukkah comes through the standing soul. The vacuum here onto Navi. They'll be trapped in the kinetic field. Can they actually bring them down? OG, they'll find Dendi. They've also found Artstyle General trying to chase down Fly, but he's been surged up. Chris got the lockdown onto Artstyle. They've already lost three. This is oh all God. falling apart for Navi as OG turning up in style in the mid game. They find themselves four kills. They lose nothing. Yeah, beautiful play. The Disruptor ulti was really, really clutch with the kinetic field as well. And the reaction to this move was just perfect. Instead of just backing out saying, hey, this they're is. smoked, they just decided to stay, bait the enemy to fight them, but put themselves in really favorable positions. Oh boy, oh boy, an OG. Radiance is flying out for the Spectre. I mean, that's the scary thing. You just saw this uh, yeah, team you fight 4 for 0 that you smoked into and where the Spectre didn't have a Radiance. Yeah, Spectre now he's gonna was have fighting a radiance. without 5,000 of his net worth right there. And now he has it. Yeah, that 
I, I don't know. OG just showing how they're a class team, you know. They're definitely among the best teams in the world right now. Yeah. I mean, as we said, you know, the, the early game did not look good. I mean, you saw Na'Vi winning pretty much every lane art style, making the rotations. It was looking great for Na'Vi, yeah. It was looking ridiculously good. It, it was a, a brilliant start. That one dive on the mid-tier two, though. That's, it costs you. Lack it of really discipline. Does. Rubber band effect, and then Spectre suddenly catches up, and you start losing momentum. Yeah. Because it's not just that you died. You died, you lose chain creeps, it takes time to get new creeps, and then, you know, you stop putting pressure on the enemy. And you just can't do that against a team like OG. No. You just don't get away with that kind of play. Yeah. And uh, OG now, playing a little bit more disciplined, staying together. They don't want to feed. They uh, are allowing Spectre to farm, because if they gank her, it's going to take a lot to bring her down immediately before yeah. he gets out. It's actually chasing Dendi and forcing a TP back from him. Look at mid lane as well. There's some pings coming out. OG. If no tower can find a raw, well, I've got the horn back up in 10 seconds. Yeah, they're going for a tower with the haunt. They're just going for objectives. They have the Necrobook as well, ready to pop. Could find a ward on mid lane as well. I look at this. I mean, Fly, he's halfway through that Agonims. Yeah, we're seeing how much. Oh, he's going for it. Jumping in with a stun onto two. There's the horn forward, Snakeo. Trying to get himself away with the Moonlight Shadow. They're looking for the lockdown onto Ditchera. They'll hold back Miracle with the Paralyzing Cast. Don't really find a kill though with that ulti. And Notel couldn't quite get himself in position for a roar. So no lockdown really on some of the key targets. Yeah, so Spectre ulti is down. That's pretty big. And they General, know, General, there's a bird there. Oh, there's a bird. All right, the fire's coming at the end of the day. Yeah. And uh, good luck arm the toggling when you have a Darkseer Iron Shell yep. standing it's right next to you. Not a lot of fun. Yeah. Then he just continues to farm up. He's got 2.1k on top of that Ags, but... Yeah, but, you know, some games we can see the Marana carry kind of work and do stuff, but in a game against the Spectre with Radiance, sure, he has the Medusa as well to help him carry, but I just don't see it pulling through here. It's just going to be needing too much. Does he have the Blink Tanger? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he just picked it up, just had the goal. Mm. Yeah, that helps at least. Also curious he went for the uh, Max on Arrow before maxing out the Leap. I think that's a... Uh, a weird skill build for a Cormorana. The max leap is really helpful. But he's level 14 soon anyway. Top tower now. OG just moving from one objective to the next. And Navi, of course, they already took all the tier ones. There's no there's no return for them here. This is getting scary for, for the side of Navi. And put the night time. Yeah. Did Jirel still continue to farm relatively well? He's got 2.6k gold on top of the Lincoln Sphere. I mean, what would what, you build in a game like this as, as the juices? Do you still go for like that kind of stat Scardi build? Are we seeing Maelstrom any kind of damage item come out at this point? I mean, I don't see Scardi being great against against that team that has Surge to get away anyway. No. But maybe just... Maybe Scardi is the only build he can go for here. Yeah. I actually think Butterfly could be a decent item or even MKB. I mean, he, even Manta to help with the silence? I don't like Manta. You don't like Manta? I, I hate Not Manta, a fan on, of Manta on Medusa. It, the fact that it costs so much mana to use it, yeah. then the illusions actually deal no damage That's at true. all. Uh, it's a terrible item that people should never build again in pubs. Just stop building it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> You'd rather see BKB over Manta. Yeah, yeah. Anything. Like, sure. It's yeah. it's cheaper. It you know it helps you so much more. Manta is just a terrible item on Medusa. Actually, I had a long conversation as well with the uh, Medusa spammer. He was very oh, yeah. upset about this. Yeah. Oh, really? Like, he was a. Uh, uh... A believer in the Manta. No, no, no the other wasn't. way around. He, okay, he was he like, was why are why are people doing this? Poor guy. Oh, arrow connects, but, you know. Now he has the glimpse on him. Danger of. Oh, hello, Dendi. He's trying to 1v1 fly here. One flies to the back of the Miracle, and oh, he's not going to make it. I mean, he just got put in a scenario where there's no way out. Actually, it goes top as well. Miracle, a little bit low oh, here. Oh, here we go. We're looking at it go. And with the burst and the mallet, he's gone. He's gone. This man's he popping. Him. Did they realize? They're running oh. after it. Oh, they've seen it. Oh no, Miracle, oh, why did miracle, you do this? Oh, Miracle, please. 1,000 gold going the way of the enemy, and that's a full Aghanim completed. I think they could get this kill, though. He did get the ult out in time, and they can't. I don't know about that. Maybe. Ah, okay, that, <laughs> look at those Necro Creeps just rip through the mana of Ditchera. They do, but... Oh, hello. Hello. Turning With the around. Maladics. Hello. He's going. He's going. He's going to be gone. He's going to pop. There's one. Moon jumps in with the vacuum wall onto three. The magnetizer's oh, working. Right the moon. Moon. He's looking to clean them up. Recover the situation that Moon and Crit, uh, sorry, Crit and Miracle got them nice in. Nice though. Uh, yeah, this could actually, this is fine. Moon may be diving too deep. Arstar will go down. The gem's back on the deck. General. Uh, he's out of mana. If they've got any kind of cancel, they haven't. Wow. Moon just TPs out with the gem. Yeah, it's recovered. Nice. Back. But 
in OG's But nonetheless, it's still not really a great fight there for OG at all. This oh, terrible. They're ahead and... Terrible fight for them. They Whip. gave away a lot of money. You know, streaks were ended. Miracle streak went away. The Earth yeah. Spirit was on a killing streak as well. How's the Witch Doctor doing, did you say, in terms of items? Well, he's got 1,800 gold off the back of that. Yeah. yeah he's, he's a and rich he had guy. nothing. Yeah. He, he was really poor. Literally had nothing. Yeah. He buys a hood. You like that? Um, On the Witch Doctor. On the Witch Doctor. It, does he? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, check him. Wait. No. Oh, did he? He sold it. Wait, who? Am I blind? I'm blind. I definitely see a hood pick up. Am I, am I mistaken, Weppers? Was he, did he buy a hood and sell it? <laughs> I'm sure he just bought yes! it to troll you. I, yeah, he was trolling me. God damn it. Seneco, you cheeky. Yeah. But yeah. He was contemplating well, no, that it. Wouldn't nice. have been the pickup or... Could you, I, I think going straight yeah. into the Aghanims is going to be great. Because yeah. then he can actually use that when Spectre ultis. Clear off all the illusions immediately yeah. with a bouncing ulti. And that can actually deal with it fairly well. Oh, hello. Trying to get out this time. Dendi has had to... He's been forced into a lot of TP out scenarios this game. Yes, but it's paying off. Well, I keeping mean, him alive. It, it's keeping him alive, but that's not, you know, that's not good enough sometimes. Because you have a lot of downtime when you do this. Oh, yeah, I don't know who mentioned it, but Deuce did go BKB actually in the end. After all, so you'll be happy with this, man. You'll be happy yep. with Ditchara. This is the right way to go. If you He's my boy. Kind of Didn't it, you yeah. know? Ditchara, he went for the Vanguard Radiance first out of all pro players as well. Oh, did he? Yes, he and did. And then you picked so. it up yourself. Yes, he, he picked it after, uh, you know. Oh, he picked it after you or you picked it after him? I never played it in a competitive game. Oh. But he's inspired by me, dude. Say. No, he's my boy. <laughs> I hope that he's going to go for a Divine next, actually. Just go what? straight for it. Yeah, yeah, after a BKB Lincolns. I would love to see that. Just go ham. I mean, I'm liking this smoke as well. They do have Born. If they can get the wrap around. Mm -hmm. oh, They're looking star. for it. He's got one right yeah, in Straight onto the man, coming out with a horn as well. We can see Miracle already on the sidelines, looking for Ditchara. Can they chase him down? If they can get Good the juice as well, it's going to be absolutely huge. BKB and TP out. Nothing they can do about that one apart from the roar, but no tell. Yeah. He's cried around. For I mean, that. he has a Lincolns as well, That's so true. they can't even break that. I, was, I thought they That's did why... they break it with a dagger. Oh, no, it didn't. Huh. Uh, it was the dagger doesn't break. Until, uh, no, actually, you should break when he or casts maybe, it. Or maybe he just casted it past it, so he got the drive by. It could have been on the ground. Yeah. Miracle, of course, would skill shot that. He would. He would. Absolutely. Of course. Lincolns don't stop you if you're 9k. <laughs> and more gold here for the Spectres. Miracle cleans it up. Keeping in for some Nako. So Nako gets oh. roared, and yeah, he's he's just dead. Should have bought Hood. Yeah, Hood would have <laughs> saved you. <laughs> have done anything. Take the oldie pixel advice. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I like what he's doing, as you said. He is going for that Axe. And he's halfway there. Talking about Axe, how's Fly doing in that department? Because we did see him build it in earlier. He's nearly managed to pick up the third bit. Yeah, he. I mean, that's just the thing where if you get Axe on Disruptor, it's so massive. Because imagine getting ulti on Medusa before BKB. Yeah. You know, that's just game winning. Nice. So literally what shut down 4K of a net worth. Just mm -hmm. like that. With one up. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's beautiful. It's we saw it. Fun. We saw it against the Centaur as well earlier today. Yeah, uh, in, yeah. Uh, in the first game, I believe, of today, it was the disruptor just, um, or not the disruptor, but the Doom being used on a, on a Centaur, shutting down all his items. Yeah, m well, that was yeah Moon's game, wasn't it? He? he was getting some great dreams off there, just jumping in and it's kind of like, all right, who are we looking for? You. Yeah. He knows how important Centaur can be in the team fights. He's played it enough. And I feel this game as well. We saw at the bottom, Moon, he did get, he got a really nice blink vacuum at that fight where they got three in the static storm. I you mean, know, we've seen tons here. of Darseer play today, and yeah. it's been really nice. Like, good vacuums, good combos. I really have what? Moon uh, from Kezu. Yeah. Uh, we haven't seen well, any from. Um, well, no diggity played either, it, though. So, you know, in the Naga game, that was a little bit disappointing because they didn't really get oh, that yeah. big, satisfying ulti did combo. A, yeah, that was, was a not, tough game. Yeah, they were just getting out farmed a lot, though. Put pressure on them for the fights. Well, of course, we are sidetracking a little bit with the discussions, but they're just farming up right now. Both teams are trying to get something. Of course, <laughs> Chen does have the Granite Golem and the Ancient Black Dragon right now. The question is that well, in kind of this passive section, who's going to carry harder, really, the Medusa or the Spectres this goes on? Uh, well, I think Medusa will be better for a force of pushing, but Spectre kills the supports much easier, yeah. right? So it's a matter of what you want to do. Oh, here we go, jumping onto Ditchara. They'll break the Lincolns, get the roar off, and this is a big kill. Goodbye, that mana. Burned. Goodbye, Ditchara. Oh, my God. Oh, he's looking for more as well. Look at this miracle. Oh, he might just get it. He might just get oh, it. He's got it. Oh, he got him. He has the oh, gem. Uh -huh. That's why he killed him. Because he actually faded, but there's a gem on the Spectre. Absolutely. Which is so nice when you ulti, because you get true sight over the entire fight. 
which is really, really good. Yeah, and I, of course, yeah. Thanks for pointing out, weapons, because I was kind of a bit, a bit lost. But of course, the four star pickup from, uh, from uh, No Tell to <laughs> dispel the Lincolns each and every time allows for the setup of that kill. Yep. All right, I see Miracle. We've seen him do some questionable dies before. Let's see if this is another. He's going to be fine. The Malady Glen connect. He's, yeah, he's good. He's, not always good. he's good to go this time. I mean, those two kills really kind of redeemed the, the mess up earlier. Finding two cores. Dendi jumps in. The uh, double star fall. But this is going to be hard to break base. They dealt some damage. They should be happy with that. And, and this feels like the thing as well. When OG start to back up, well, what's kind of your catch potential on Na'Vi? You, you're pretty much relying on General on the Night Stalker to get out there during the night time and catch him. Yeah. It's the... hard. But you look at OG and they've got stuff like the Surge. They've got the Earth Spirit rolling in. They've got the Glimpse. The glimpse. They've got so much catch on OG. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're much better at that. But Na'Vi have to build up this unstoppable force yeah. where the Ancient Creeps are really going to help them. But I wonder... If their lineup is really drafted well enough for winning team fights, like five v five fights, I don't think they they win because OG's draft is based around it very heavily. Yeah. Disruptor, Earth Spirit, you know the vacuum, all their heroes are drafted to be really strong in five v five. Whereas Navi, I mean Chen is not really great five v five. Witch Doctor is good. Mirana is not that great. Night Stalker is not good five v five. And Medusa, while she's good to have in center, if you don't have anything else to work with, how do you actually kill stuff? You know. Yeah, they, they, and it really feels like this juice, they just can't afford to have Ditcher up being jumped on first like and, that. And, and they're having time. a lot of downtime, because look at how scared they have to play. When the Spectre ulti is up, they're just scared to leave base. I mean, Dendi got solo killed earlier by an ulti that was intended for someone else, but he just happened to die as well. Yeah, that's not nice. Not nice at all, but at the same time, the high ground defense for Na'Vi is strong, you know what I mean? Because they've got this Dusa, because they've just got that synergy of the Stone Gaze into eventually this Aghanim's Death War. I don't know, I've seen how fast this Dusa dies, just to a Necrobook, and now there's a Diffusal completed on the Spectre. Okay. I, I feel that it's it's going to be dangerous for her, and, and if, they don't have the they don't have any big AoE yeah. stun. Nothing to rely on. They have oh. Witch Doctor Cask. I mean, Dijera, he is literally he, taking a page out of your bootwagger. He's I mean, doing exactly what you're saying. BKB, no man to rubbish, and now straight for the rapier. I oh, think maybe MK, MKB. I honestly think, I honestly think uh, Divine Rapier is the only the, way they can the win this. I think they have to yeah. go for it. Because look at the farm. It's not just Spectre up there. It's a really firm Dark Seer. It's a really firm uh, Beastmaster. Uh, I hope it's the, the the rapier. I mean, he had he did have 3.1k and didn't save up for the relic first. Is there a reason for that? Is he still maybe thinking MKB, or does he just want to maybe be well, closer to have the buyback gold as well? I mean, if you go with MKB, sure, he's gonna not have the uh, miss chance on him as well. Yeah. So there's an argument that it's a good item to go for, but. I wonder, man. I think oh, when you have your BKB on anyway, you don't have mischance. So... It's, that, yeah, absolutely. And there's no evasion item I that mean, you're going to counter. I mean, I'm on the Rapier Hype Train. Yeah. If that rapier is the way for them to or busts. That's how it goes. I, I feel as well, Ditcher, I'm um, kind of thinking back to other games where I've seen him play Medusa, and I feel like he, he is one of the kind to, to dabble with the Rapier. He, is, he doesn't mess around. He knows what's needed. He is, but I'm really worried for Navi now because we saw him have a really good early game, but they that's really what did. their lineup is drafted for. And OG's is much more well-rounded. They have a good late game, they have great team fight, their push is decent. Like, you know, they, they don't have an obvious flaw apart from maybe laning stage. Like, they didn't get the best lanes down. Of course, Miracle playing on the carry, different roles and so on. I mean, this Miracle Spectre really is working a treat. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, de he's definitely playing it really well. Yeah, there's been uh, pretty much just a little, the two bad haunts where he's got a little bit too greedy and oh, General's got to be careful. The oh, Horning no. get the vision and straight onto the man. He is certainly a, a dead jam. man. But they lost the jam as well now, so... And he's not got buyback. This that's... is a 50 second window where OG can try and look for more. Now, but they don't have Haunt, but... That's true, they could try for more. They might just go for a little bit of poker ass on the mid lane, but I think they might just back off as well. I see what the players I don't think they're going to commit heavily for the racks when they don't have Spectre ulti. Okay. Even if everything else is ready, Spectre ulti is such a big thing. I mean, do you feel the Na'Vi can still certainly punish without the Night Stalker? Oh, uh, actually, I don't know. They could maybe do this, but the Dragon and the Snake, you know, you look at how to walk into this, and it's not that easy. I mean, they, they do, uh, yeah, the Snake, I mean, and the Star Storm as well. Na'Vi's got great wave play. They do, and they're not going to get too much done, so might as well just back out, take this top tower, which is a lot easier. I don't see how Na'Vi are going to defend this. We'll see what they choose to do here as the Spectre now. 5,000 or close to 4,000 actually ahead of the Medusa. It's a big leap for a Spectre to have in any game. He could even go into Abyssal next as well if he wants to. 
Yeah, I mean, he have... has the Vanguard. He can easily upgrade that. A Pistol Blade would be really nice. Then he can just pick his target. He could kill Dendi every fight. Absolutely. We've seen how much damage this man can dish out with the Mansa Diffusal and the Radiance. Now we just have to hold on and try to find some farm in this game. Definitely struggling in this game one. Now look at this as well. OG ready to come back in. Mm, Miracle's they're being got sneaky. a DD. 20 seconds and the Horn is back up and at that point it gets very, Good very scouting scary. arrow. He sees them and quickly gonna blink leap away and TP out is probably gonna... Yeah, there we go. Oh, Kick. A little bit oh, off target. It was a good attempt, though. Yep. Good attempt for crit. And he does have his blink and yules on crit, so he's pretty happy on this Earth Spirit as well. I mean, he's not an easy kill for anyone. Just so elusive of a hero. And close to level 16. My general can go and fly here. He's got the Witch Doctor as well, uh, and they'll move in. There's going to be a lot of TP coming, coming in. And with the Hawk from Miracle, they're going to punish it. They'll take down Seneca. They're going to get General as well. Fly is just scratching his head like, why are you hating on me? The real question was, was that worth it? No, definitely not. No. <laughs> but yeah, there it is. The full Abyssal Blade is picked up. So that's a low cooldown disable as well for the Spectre. Yeah, and, and this is great as well, because we're going to see in situations like that where, you know, Ditcher on Denny just straight up TP in out in front right. of him. That's not going to happen anymore. You can't do that to Spectre. And oh, man, it, it's so hard to, to foresee how they're going to play this. Against such a farmed OG. I think, it, it, as you said, Rapier or bust. Medusa yeah. is what we're waiting on. Oh, he's saving for it. I mean, yeah? he could buy the MKB right now if he wanted to, but I don't think it's going to do enough. I really don't think that's what they need. They need a sensational damage, not the mediocre damage. Let's see if he does it. No, oh, definitely. Else he would have bought it. I was, was going to say, what well, you just could then go, if you get the Rapier as well, you don't need to worry about buyback. Because if you die, yeah, if you die, anyway. it's over anyway. Yeah. So you might as well just go keep buying in. items. Yeah, it's an all in. But Oh, man, this is going to be good. This is, I mean, uh, we're talking about the Rapier pickup as if it's going to just suddenly win them the game. I mean, oh, how big not. of an impact is it? The, the thing is, it is a high impact. It plays a lot to surprise factor, though. And. They don't have any good stunts. That's the downside, right? So if the enemy realizes, oh, there's a rapier, let's back out, he can't really do too much to stop them. So it really has to be a surprise pickup and then take a fight. Maybe smoke out and fight with it. But uh, then they need to clear some of these aggressive wards from OG as well, watching over everything. So the players, they're just getting a bit of a push up on the top. It's yeah, not, he almost yeah, has a. Up. He could buy the BKB now on Mir Mirana. That's pretty big pickup, actually. Denies the most of uh, OG's damage yeah, it's out great there. against their lineup. Yeah. Uh, unless he gets caught up by Fly, of course. That, yeah. that's, it's going to be a lot down to Fly static storm. So if you can get a static storm on the Tusa or onto Dendi, uh, it should be a surefire kill off the back one. Oh, no! Oh, he manned oh. down. He manned down. I'm a little disappointed, oh, well. Wagger. Yeah, well, you know. It's fine. He, he yeah. goes for a safe play. The thing about going divine, Understandable. he will look like a genius if they win, but a complete idiot if they lose, right? <laughs> so he goes for a safe play, and if they lose, it's just like, oh, you were too far behind. You couldn't have done anything. I mean, I guess on the good side of the pace of this game and the way that they're holding, we, yeah. we could still be in for a rapier tree eventually down the line. Eventually, somewhere, because they're actually farming a lot. Yeah. I think now, though, with the MKB, he probably wants to go into Scotty next. Okay. Because now, you know, you just benefit a lot from having more stats. And having durability in the fights. Yeah, and the nice thing about Medusa and Scotty is that she benefits from all the stats really mm -hmm. well. I mean, strength and int are both a lot of survivability, yeah. and the Agi is what There's you really want. nothing bad about it. Nothing bad about it at all. And talking about good things. They have got the Ags on Seneco now. He's level 16 as well. Bad things, however. Roshan is dying right now, and uh, they're not in any uh, this place. This is cheese as well, isn't it? Uh, uh, cheese it, as well, this It is indeed. So that's going to be a cheese probably picked up on No Tail, I suppose. Or actually, no, they're going to give it on Moon. Aggressive Darkseer with it. I think Moon just picked up the gem. Did oh. give, uh... No, he's going for the cheese, dude. Who's he's got the gem? It. No Tail. Yeah, No Tail's picked up the gem. All right. Oh, boy. This but, is this is getting scary for Navi. I All mean, right. that's again an Aegis Spectre. He could really just ulti now and go fight something on his own if he wanted to. I'm pretty sure he could bring down someone before he dies with his Abyssal Blade. And then if they stick around, I mean, his team is going to be there to help him. I mean, just look, look, look at those win rates there. Quite, you know, yeah. interesting. 40 to 50 minutes is a 75% win rate, but then 50 minutes plus is only a 50% win rate on Spectre. Yeah, but I, I don't feel that it's a very big sample size, though. No. I don't put too much uh, thought into that. Because, you know, every patch, it's a different meta, and you got to look at new numbers, and then the, the numbers are too small. 
on a place. There we go. I mean, look at it. He's a very rich man as well. We'll see what he picks up. I mean, I guess refreshes will be nice eventually. And I mean, this is the point as well. We're going to see uh, the real test of OG. Breaking high granite, something that they've struggled with so far. So Especially much wave clear, now. but yeah, they're trying to zone out with the illusions from Spectre. Oh, jumping onto to he will get the BKB off in time, and that might just save him. In the death ball, getting dropped down. No tell me a back, but the abyss has dropped to Neko. Tineko's gone down. Miracle jumping back for more, but Dijirar moving in with the stone gates. They're chasing down as well, but where's the catch potential? They just have nothing really to control OG. And OG, they're going to be ready to go back in again. Crit. Jumping forward, Miracle just ra running straight in the Dijon. Look at going this go with the Diffusal Blade. The man's is double. Miracle actually dropping fairly low. He has the Aegis though. He will be fine for another round. No Tails gone. In straight onto Arkstar. Miracle with a double kill. He'll go down. The yeah. question is, can Na'Vi doing anything about this the second time through? Dijaraz have to buy back. They just don't have the lockdown and fly now. Static's still on to Dijaraz. They kill him again a second oh. time. Miracle. Who's he going to have, boys? Running around now, drops the Abyssal, did you are locked down, out of mana, and soon to be out of health as well. It's a triple kill, it. ultra kill for Miracle, and the game is over. OG do it after a start that looked to be absolutely brilliant for Na'Vi, just slipped away in the mid-game, they kind of held yeah. the ground, they held the high ground, but OG, the classic OG really, they just, there was a point where they didn't make any mistakes from from kind of there onwards and, yeah. and that's just the, win the That's the game. sign of composure that a yeah. tier one team really has. Like yeah. just being able to say, okay, early game was really hard, we're really far behind, but we're gonna regroup, we're gonna recover, and eventually they just punished. But I also have to say, yeah. it goes a little bit towards what Navi were doing. Navi, they had great control, but then one little bit too aggressive dive under a tier two tower and everything was just lost. And uh